Hello everybody, Cold Starcraft here. Bit of a different game today. I hope Whole Wheat decides to send his drones. There we go, and uh, seeing how this drone is actually not doing anything, and the very slow split uh, will kind of explain what's going on in this game. This is a silver level game. Now, not even 100% sure if I'll post this. We'll see what happens. Uh, Whole Wheat is a buddy of mine. Apparently this game is pretty good. So we're going to check it out. Whole Wheat throwing up the smile there. Deciding that his overlord is at much better use inside of his own base. Muggs deciding the opposite. That he's going to send that out. Now, as we watch these players get started. A couple of current events. UBC, uh, StarCraft Club, announced that they'll be having another UBC Cup coming up. UBC Cups are really fun. Uh, I was at the last one. It was really great. I'd love to be at the next one. CG Cyber Gaming. They just announced that they will have ooh Extractor Trick Fancy Dancy. They just announced that they will be having another tournament at eSpot in Richmond. Uh, no dates on either of these events. Just announced uh, today. I actually found out that both these events will be happening. We do see a drone running out here for Whole Weed. He doesn't have any minerals, and he does take a left-hand turn. So it looks like he'll be just going to go scout. And no scout from Muggs. Oh, I forgot to introduce the other player, Muggs. This is a ZVZ, obviously, as you've been able to tell. Muggs getting his gas up a little bit quickly. Was that a second extractor trick? I think so. Not totally sure what happened there. Kind of missed it. Whole Wheat uh, continuing to produce drones. Both players' pools coming up, but Whole Wheat is actually quite a bit farther ahead. His drone just entering here will be able to see that the timing of the spawning pool and mugs just getting up some gas gonna have a hundred gas for when that uh, pool uh, is done uh, all the whole wheat his pools finishing right now what is he gonna produce and producing six lings so it looks like he's gonna actually want to put on some pressure right now he knows that the pool is a little bit behind four mugs but by the time the lings are done uh, well, actually, not by the time they're done, but by the time they're halfway across the, across the map, the pool will be done. So it really depends on what units Muggs builds. Now, Whole Wheat getting his gas, and we see these six lings running across the map. They will actually get spotted by this Overlord, so Muggs is able to see that is if he is paying attention to his mini-map. And he might be. I'm used to casting Masters or Grandmaster players, so they always spot that kind of thing. Looks like we're having two Overlords fly past each other and completely ignore each other. Um, as if they were exes in a hallway in high school, uh, back to those days. And uh, we see a bunch of these lings running in here, actually stopping, but the ling count is definitely in Whole Wheat's favor. Going to get a surround here and attack if he decides to, but it looks like the numbers are similar, so who's going to come out on top really depends on the micro. And one worker actually going to probably be able to swing the tide right here, and the queen is going to absolutely end this and Whole Wheat's timing window was missed. There was definitely a window there, but he was just a little bit late. Now he's not actually producing anything, and his enemy Muggs is producing two lings right now and getting out that speed. So not actually enough gas right now uh, for Whole Wheat. Actually, that's a lie. He does have enough gas, and he does have a ton of minerals. Right now throwing down a spine crawler. Uh, this ling is going to run all the way home. But is there anything to kind of defend? Well, there's the queen. The queen will be able to easily dispatch of these two zerglings. And the ling actually are turn, turning around at the last second trying to fight. Uh, but to no avail, he is killed. And both the lings are cleaned up. And in production, we see 12 lings. So whole wheat really concentrating on that ling production while his enemy mugs has moved down a queen extremely preemptively. Probably wants to send that back to the main, actually. Uh, for a larva inject. Uh, definitely not getting the full use right there. Looking at the supply there, about even. Whole Wheat's Overlord Scout is going to be able to run in here and see that there's a Baneling Nest on the way. Definitely a Baneling Nest on the way. We see this Queen. Not sure what she's doing. Uh, she's following this drone. So she's on move command, so she's going to shuffle left. And she's going to shuffle. Actually, she's just turning. She's not even shuffling. There we go. An inject might break her of that. So we see a bunch of lings moving up, but these are still slow lings because speed is not done. It is three quarters of the done. Muggs is seeing that his enemy has not expanded at all. So looking to take the macro advantage. And we see an evolution chamber going down. No banelings, but banelings, especially with these slow lings, they won't be slow for much longer. They'll actually be speed lings any second. Um, bunch of banelings being morphed in. Now he doesn't want to engage without these banelings. Muggs needs to pull back and micro around and wait for these banelings to be done as they're completing any second right now. And we actually 25 out of 18, and Overlord must have gone down. 
I'm not sure how that Overlord would have gone down. Uh, missed something there. Oh! Big! Oh my goodness! Wow! All of those Lings just died to a single Baneling. Oh my goodness. Uh, that was really bad for Whole Wheat. Uh, getting an epic surround on the Baneling, but a Baneling is not something you want to surround. All those Lings going down. My goodness. That might have been the most effective Baneling in history. Um, and really, Whole Wheat uh, just dropping down his expansion right now uh, is actually droning up behind this while his enemy is actually getting out a lot of Lings. And Whole Wheat's saying that was crazy. Yeah, he lost so many Lings to one Baneling. That was pretty epic. How many was that? Apparently both players saw what we saw, which was an absolutely destruction of Lings. And uh, Muggs' Lings are just running around the map as he's got the plus one carapace on the way. I would definitely say Muggs is ahead right now, not only because he is double in supply, but he's getting ahead in the upgrades. He does have an ex his expansion up, but he should transfer some workers and possibly start droning right now. Uh, although he doesn't have that much money, but it would be good to get out some more drones. We see a bunch of links are going to run in here from the back. I need to watch the replay. And uh, a bunch of links running in from the back. They're going to see this expansion is just finishing. And it does just finish. Now, what is Holy going to do about this? Where is Holy Wheat's units? Does he have any units? He doesn't have any units. <laughs> so, it loses the hatchery. Uh, no units here. So, these lings just kind of lull and run in there and kill it. And all those broodlings. It's so crazy when all the broodlings die at the same time. And a bunch of lings running out here to defend their hatchery. And they realize, oh, dang, it's gone. There's only one larva left to represent that. This drone, not doing his job, needs to get over there and drop a hatchery. We'll be dropping it any moment. And there we go. Now he's dropping it, but definitely behind. We do see some more drones from Muggs, so if you go into units, it is 18 to 4. 18 to 14. These guys need to build more drones. Uh, very, very low drone counts. We do see Roach Warren coming out, and a bunch of spine crawlers. Now, I watched the game and the other day where Whole Wheat built a bunch of sp spine crawlers in his main and never moved them to his natural. Actually, ended up losing his natural in an extremely close fight while well, he had three spine crawlers. Actually, no, it was two spine crawlers. At his main not doing anything, so we're going to see the Lings come in here and just kind of run around, checking things out, realizing that his expansion is going down. It's about halfway done. There's a bunch of Lings here at the back, so two control groups right now for Muggs. That is very good. Running in here might actually force the cancel on the hatchery. We're going to force Whole Wheat to run down here, but actually Muggs is using his one group of Lings to distract Whole Wheat's Lings and using the other group to kill the hatchery. And the hatchery goes down without a cancel. Really well played by Muggs. That was really good. Uh, using two different control groups. You gotta remember this is silver level play. And he actually runs up here into a huge group of spine crawlers and loses all those Lings. But I would say that's completely worth it. He's forcing his Zerg opponent onto one base as he's currently taking his third. He needs to drone up though. Uh, he is getting out no drones right now. Uh, did just finish his layer tech. And I would like him to see him just sit back and drone a little bit. If we look at units, uh, again, they're just not building drones. We'll keep production tab up there. And uh, these links kind of running around, not doing much. But this back door has been huge for Mug, so he's going to continue to use it as a drone again tries to drop down a second base for Whole Wheat. I've actually almost called him Kilimanjaro about five times, but uh, that's a little bit of an inside joke there. And uh, Mug's links are going to run out and run into a bunch of Whole Wheat's links. So Whole Wheat. Wheat is going to come ahead on this, but the roaches are revealed, so he knows that there is roaches. Tech-wise, there's only banelings on the field for uh, for mugs right now. So he actually, oh, and I didn't see if that got cancelled or not. I missed that, but the natural goes down again. So these backdoor lings right here are doing an incredible amount of damage and forcing uh, whole wheat to mine out. Although with this many drones, I'm not sure if he can mine out. Uh, very quickly and Whole Wheat finding these Lings looks like Muggs is actually going to win the Ling fight but if he runs away there he goes we'll be able to run away from those roaches very effectively we do see a layer coming out still on the one base uh, so not sure what he's going to be able to do with it these overlords are headbutting each other uh, what do we got we got one in gas here three in gas there so we got four drones mining gas in total Whole Wheat chasing down these Lings uh, who's going to win this Ling fight it's so kind of weird to see I think Muggs is going to come out on top it does look like he comes out on top. But the thing is, these roaches are going to come in here and just clean up what's left. Not going to lose a single roach. And able to clean up all the lings. Where's the queen? Oh, the queen's at the back here. I forgot the queen was doing the little dipsy doodle. 
back there. And now this Ling is hiding out, going to try to see if he can stay alive, but it doesn't look like he will. That roach should be... Oh, the roach doesn't see him. Uh, now he does. There we go. Moves in. Gets the kill. But really, one Ling. That's only 25 minerals. That is the cheapest thing in the game. And uh, actually, how much are interceptors? Uh, are they 25 or 15? I can't remember exactly. I uh, never really make them myself. Now we see a bunch of roaches moving out. Now if there's... How much is there? Just lings. So it really depends. Muggs has had really excellent control so far. We'll have to see how his control continues to go. But it looks like these roaches might be moving on to the third base. Does he even know about this third base? He does because the Overlord is sitting right on top of it cold. You can see that. And uh, so it looks like he is going to shut down the third as a bunch of lings run by here and get covered in green goo and killed and now these lings are gonna run in here i'm not sure if this is actually a good choice might want to just sack this and get down some more tech needs to throw down possibly a roach war and but doesn't look like he's gonna do that mugs is actually starting to float a lot of minerals right now and he needs to get away from that under production let's go back to units uh really not seeing that many at some point mugs did drone up which is really good he's got 10 more drones and uh, he's really not sure what to do right here. He's not actually producing anything. He is pretty darn scared of these roaches. Um, but it looks like so many lings are going to be able to come in here and get just an epic surround. So it looks like the just mass number of lings for mugs should be able to deal with this. There's actually a bunch of lings here that need to get in the fray. Well, actually, I don't even think they would have been able to do anything. We look at the food count, 53 to 33. Uh, they wouldn't be able to do anything because of the full surround, actually. If we look at the main, still no tech buildings being dropped. If we look under production, there's 11 banelings being morphed in. Where are they being morphed in? Uh, not totally sure. <laughs> They're dead morphing, apparently. We see a spire going down. And not even trying... Oh, they were up here. So morphing up here, really interesting. Might just try to run into the main and deal some damage, but there's a bunch of spine crawlers. And uh, this Spire, not going to be super effective with only one on gas. He is floating about 600 gas right now, though, which is good. Uh, you do want to float gas if you're going to be getting out a bunch of uh, mutilists. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know what, what's with me today. I keep uh, having blanks on what words I, <laughs> I need to use. Now, Whole Wheat is just kind of sitting back on his heels, but he's starting to get mined out a little bit and uh, definitely needs to saturate that other gas. He needs to get another base, really. It is 17 minutes into the game. He needs to drop another base. Now, our player Muggs, who's done some fantastic things this game, is kind of starting to fall apart. If we see the minerals, he's up into the 3200 range. Let's actually go to his cam right now and... Mineral he's injecting, which is good. He's moving around pretty quickly. Yeah. Oh, he's going to go in for a big bailing attack. I'm not sure how well this is going to do. And running in here does get some lane kills. Oh, oh, so many banes going down for nothing at all. And did they just run into the larva? <laughs> uh, I think I think that larva, this one just came out. I think they hit some larva. I'm not totally sure, but that, that was that was awkward. Now uh, we see some overlords just hanging out. Five of them, that's the uh, ideal number to be able to see. Uh, they communicate with each other, and uh, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. But spine crawlers here just getting in in the nick of time. But actually, there's a gap so these links can get through. They actually take out one spine. Looks like they're going to take out two spines. Two spines go down. Will the third one go down? The third one goes down too. So, really kind of odd focusing those spines right there, but really opens up the front of Whole Wheat's base. And. That really, whole wheat was trying to create that wall so he could hold off and build a bunch of uh, mutilus. Although he doesn't have any mutilus on the way and his spire is done. He does have four roaches on the way. And Muggs is getting down a spire, which is really good. That's really good for Muggs. And his spire is now done. And But just floating way too many minerals. I would like them to see all that larvae be used and expand some more. There is an expansion over here for whole wheat. Uh, it is complete, but it's not being utilized at all at the moment. We do see seven mutilists on the way, so the Spire was way later for Muggs, but he's actually going to get the first mutilist on the field, and there's really nothing to deal with this at all. If he comes in and focuses the Queen down, there's only one Queen, so no transfusing will be going on. We'll be able to take care of that. Maybe he'll just float above the Roaches and do a lot of damage as those mutilists are done, so paying attention to that mutilist usage is going to be huge. Watching the production tab, uh, still no mutilists for whole wheat. Uh, he is moving down here on the third base, but now there is no third base here, and these overlords, overlords will spot it, but these mutilists are still idle. 
and uh, not moving, but looks like these roaches have decided they're going to make a way into the natural, but these mutilists are going to fly over top of them. Let's see if they can get any kills right now. Uh, looks like they're not actually focusing down any specific units, but softening up a bunch might be able to actually get a kill here. Oh, stop! Where are you going? <laughs> there you go. And uh, going to not get any roach kills. Oh, we'll get... Oh, oh! Gets one, gets two, two, gets a third one. Now he's going to focus that queen down. Needs to get this queen, and then he's just in the money right now. And whole wheat GG's out of it. Uh, says he GG's. Mugs left! Mugs left! Whole wheat won! <laughs> Why? What? Uh, whole wheat wins the game. Uh, Mugs played really well. Uh, obviously, some holes in the play, uh, but there's silver le silver level players, and he had a mutilist, and there was n literally nothing uh, that could shoot these mutilists. These two corruptors would come out, um, but these mutilists would probably kill a couple more roaches and be able to focus fire the corruptors down. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe you left. That's hilarious. Um, really not sure what happened there. It was such a quick leave as well. As soon as the GG, maybe he just opened the menu and closed it. But regardless, good game. Uh, whole week comes out with the win. <laughs> Congrats.